Security at the Pentagon was breached by two infiltrators operating under the cover of early morning darkness this Thanksgiving day. The penetration resulted from a rivalry at least as intense as that between the superpowers. Eyewitness News correspondent Gary Reels has an exclusive report. 0600, the Pentagon, the bastion of the eyes onlyest, topmost military secrets of one of the most powerful nations in the world, home of the Big Button. In the chill morning darkness, most of U.S. military headquarters is asleep. But up on the roof, the first stirrings of the new day. 0640, the big event begins to unfold. Within five minutes, the climax of the latest recon mission, as these annual Army-Navy pranks have come to be known. I was playing squash in the Pentagon one day and s told the guy I was playing squash with, wouldn't it be neat if we had a sheet poster about 100 feet long hanging outside the Pentagon instead of the Academy so the public can show, we can show the public what spirit we have at the Academy for the Army-Navy game. Throughout the night, the two subjects hid out inside the Pentagon, much of their time spent in a meditation room. Penetration came at about 1,800 hours yesterday. The two young men in their midshipmen's uniforms flashed their military ID and walked right in. Their deed done, they scurried off the Pentagon roof this morning and off of Pentagon property. But what would a recon mission be without at least one moment of suspense? When we first came in, we really hadn't thought of it, but there's this one area where we're just not allowed to bring carts, and we had a couple of bags. We were bringing the carts through there, and we had just had not expected that someone stopped us just as we were uh, unloading the carts and asked us what we were doing. The security guy? Yes. Sir. yes. And we just said, oh, we're just waiting around for someone, and they, uh, they just left it at that. He just walked yeah. right by. Today's operation in planning for the past nine months was cloaked in as much secrecy in Annapolis as any secret inside the Pentagon itself. Today's banner, made of 67 bed sheets sewn together, measured 100 feet long, 40 feet high. Unfurled, it covered the office windows of not only the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, but the Secretary of Defense. The two subjects, you'll understand if we don't give their names, are members of the class of 82 at the Naval Academy. They are more gung-ho over this Saturday's annual football rights in Philadelphia than John Wayne was at Iwo Jima. Because the game's been going on for, you know, like over 100 years, so big rivalry. big rivalry. And you want to outdo the other academy, showing that you're better. It's just a sign that, of spirit. Recently, you just reached, you know, high levels like this. You know, I don't know how high we can go after this. The Army-Navy recon rivalry over the years has become as pointed as the football games themselves. Two years ago, the cadets of West Point kidnapped the Navy's billy goat mascot. But this morning, the middies of Annapolis proved they will take the back seat to no one, especially the Army, when it comes to daring originality, meticulous planning, and methodical execution. But somehow I think we haven't heard the end of all this. Gary Reels, Eyewitness News at the Pentagon. See how the game comes out. Yeah.